Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. As always, I'm so grateful that you're taking the time to be with me today, to listen to the Word of God, to hear what the Bible has to say about God Himself, His Son Jesus, and His salvation and redemption plan for mankind. Perhaps you're listening for the first time today, and uh, somehow you've just been drawn to this podcast. Well, there's an entire a uh, group of writings in my blogs that are on the Word for Today with Ray.com. You can find a bunch of those there. Uh, there's quite a few podcasts that we've recorded. And so we just want to bless people with the Word of God. It's the best thing that I know that we can do. So uh, as we go to the Lord in prayer today, when we begin this study, just ask Him to bless your own life. He wants to have a personal relationship with you and for you to learn His Word by His Holy Spirit as well. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we're so grateful to have you with us. Your word tells us, you told us, Jesus, that where two or three of you are gathered in my name, there you are in the midst of us. And so we're just so grateful that you are in our midst today, knowing that you want to teach us and by your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth and to empower us to live according to that truth. Lord, what can we say? We're just blessed to have the word of God, the living word of God, with us. And Lord, we we invite you to be our teacher today. And we do so in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is, Will You Be Made Whole? And it's taken from the book of John, chapter 5, and verse 6. John the apostle wrote how there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, a blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. And in chapter 5 and verse 6 of his book, John shared how Jesus asked the man with the infirmity, Will you be made whole? Where we read, When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Will you be made whole? The verse reads, When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, John began with the words, when Jesus saw him lie, or at the time and moment, the Son of God, the Savior of mankind, and God incarnate, whose name means Jehovah is salvation, observed, noticed, and discerned the man with the infirmity lying down, and knew that he had been now a long time, which means, and understood, perceived discerned and discovered that the particular man possessed for such a huge amount of time in that case or within the state he was in. John shared how Jesus observed the man with the 38-year infirmity and knew he had been like that for a long time. The verse goes on to say, he said unto him, will you be made whole? John continued with the words he said, which means Jesus uttered, declared, proclaimed, and asked unto him or to the man with the infirmity, Will you be made whole? Which means, do you have in mind, intend, or resolved and determined and purpose with a desire and a wish to be cured and healed? John shared how Jesus asked the man with a 38-year infirmity if he wanted to be cured. When we consider John's words in this verse, we learn how Jesus noticed the man who was sick with the infirmity, and he knew how long he endured this. Jesus' question may have seemed like a strange one, because certainly this man desired to be cured. However, we shall discover his mindset in our next verse. For now, let it suffice us to know Jesus understood what this man endured, and he was ready to cure him. God desires to heal every person from their greatest need, which is sin, through his son Jesus. He, and he asked the same question of people today. Will you be made whole? Those who answer yes and yield their lives to him will be forgiven of their sins and receive everlasting life with God. Next time, John shares how the man with the infirmity answers Jesus, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled, 
to put me into the pool. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.